Hey, 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 Steady Steve, please like and subscribe. Please click on the Dick Heroes icon, click on subscribe. 100% free. Well, apart from blood in, blood out. Anyway, all it, that's my little saying, by the way. <laughs> Nothing serious. This is a review video of England's uh, Euro 2024 loss in the lost in the final um we just broke it down it's the third and final part we're just going to go into what may well be my favorite part about whether southgate needs to get out or not so let's see what the boys got to say well, before we say anything mm. you will need to look at the big picture he took over an absolute shit show correct when mm. we were done off yeah. iceland didn't he yeah so he's taking this from rock bottom mm. to where we are now where Which we now expect to be in finals and semi-finals. So we should, though. With hear, the players hear, we have. Hear me out. We've got some really good players who all play different roles at their football clubs. But he's got a better squad now than he's ever had. Mm. He's got a better squad than he had three years ago when he took us to the final of the Euros. So the expectations gone from zero from there now to there. And he hasn't been able to deliver that England getting over the line. So I think, mm. and my guess is that he'll say, thank you very much. I've taken this team as far as I can. I'm going to hand it over to someone else yeah. now. And he deserves great respect. Correct. He deserves, a, if, if he goes... He goes on his terms and you just say, thanks for the memories, thanks for the great memories um, and good luck in the future, whatever you do. And yeah. you've done a really, really good job. Yeah, what he's done. What Again, listen, I just want to, I ain't going to keep myself in the video. I'll, I'll, listen, I promise I'll try not to, but I don't want to lose the points that he's just made. Listen, Southgate has taken us from the abyss. Is he better than Ericsson? Sven Goran Ericsson, yes, he is. Was he better than that disaster... Capello, oh my gosh, infinitely, you know what I mean? But, and I don't, and I don't and he's a great man, he's done great things, and he had a vision to a point, but our preparedness and our performances on the easiest side of the draw just tell the story, and um, they didn't have, they didn't play well in the groups for teams that we should be smashing, you know what I mean? And I, and I say that because we were ranked fourth in the world, and I think it went down to fifth. I haven't checked it today, so maybe we're higher. We know it's going to be more or less around about the same since we got to the final. Um, there's teams we... Sh we nearly went out last minute, apart from an overhead kick. World-class moments. It wasn't the play that got us there. It was world-class moments of exceptionally talented individuals who have not expressed that talent. And that's why we've got to go. Oh, my gosh, please. He's getting paid five mil a year, which far outstrips every other manager in the tournament. And that should represent talent, his talent, you know, to be ahead of the game. And he's just not. I mean, as anyway, but I do acknowledge where he's taken us from. But now he's reached his plateau, reached his limit. And now it's time for somebody else, in my opinion. Let me know in your comments and if you agree or disagree. He's in, unquestionably done. He's, he's brought the team closer to the public again. Mm. After a period of time when... There was no love for the national team when he took over. And I think he's built a togetherness and he's brought harmony to the players and a togetherness that I think we've not had for quite some time. And his record is really, really good without mm. actually quite winning something. Um, I think that I think that it, mentally, I think... It's tough being England manager. It's always been called the impossible job, hasn't it? It's only not the impossible job if you win a tournament. And he's he's been close. Yeah, but how do you measure success? Yeah. Well, like I think, I, I think, I think, as so a, there's a, a degree major, of success. Yes, there's been improvement, but surely we're all ex-footballers. Mm -hmm. You need to win. Exactly. You need to you so need to win. So for all the the yeah. great things he's done up till now, mm. he deserves respect. Mm, yeah, but. With the team we had in this tournament, like look at look at the Spain team. It's full of youngsters. It's a, a whole new way of playing. They've come to the tournament and they believe they could win it. Today, when I was watching England, it was almost like there was just waiting for an individual to pull us out of 
the shit. Well, we were a moments team. That's what I just but, said. But, we? Uh, we, didn't, we weren't. We weren't a yeah, but we, great that, football that's, team. That's the whole point. We shouldn't be a moments team 100%. with the squad we have. I agree. Yeah. Mm. As Englishmen, we have this mentality: is oh, because if we get to a final, we've done brilliant. Yes, it's it, it, it's great. But what do we need to do to get over the line? That 100%. is the difference. Do you we're, think? Do you think it needs? Someone else now. I asked ask one. I asked one. Because when Mata. he took over, we were an underdog team. And now, given the players that they've got, they're not. Does it need a different person to take them on from here? I think we need an attacking manager who is willing to take risks. And even if we get to a quarter final or a semi final, the World Cup coming up next, and we lose, but we have an identity that we can all get behind going forward. At this moment with England, we're just hanging our hat on individual brilliance to get us through. And there's no way, there's no way, yes, Rodri and Fabian in midfield, world-class players. At the back, I, t I would take probably seven or eight players from the England side against Spain tonight. Yeah. And, we're to and we're talking now, like, we've done well to get to the final. Yes, he has done well, but football's about winning. Yeah. And that is that is the key. We need to get out of this mentality of, of just getting to a of final. It's okay. good enough. Yeah. We need to move forward from that. Who until is? we get out right. of that say, mindset, say. we will never yeah. win anything. Well, we got... Um, if you're going to win a tournament, you need to have a little bit of luck here and there. But I don't We've think that. Spain... No, but Spain... Spain didn't really have any luck, really. They were just outright the best team, you know? But... We did have a little bit of luck to get there ourselves. We did have magic moments, um, but we just, yeah, we we just weren't good enough. Yep. Disappointing. I've had the best night's sleep in my life over the past two weeks with the Simba Hybrid Lux mattress that I've ever had in my lifetime. With Simba, they tested. You talk about it's about winning, but against the top teams and his record against the top ten teams is that they've won seven of the last 29 games against the strong sides. Now, I think we want to be respectful for Gareth. I think he's done wonders for, for England, for the football, and the, the, you know, brought us together. But now I think we're talking about who takes us on. And I, I'm i fairly convinced that Gareth will... will yeah, but no, no one's I questioning think, what Gareth has brought. Yeah. In terms of no, I know that. the and chemistry and I understand the all that. We're talking about yeah. tactically. Mm. The game has moved on. That's my point. So I think he's been the right person to bring the nation together in terms of the football team. And now maybe it's time for someone else with a more modern attacking style of football. Because I think the game's gone away from being successful if you really defend. If we didn't have the, the players we have in yeah. offensive positions, yeah. mm. I'd say Gareth's the right Yes, for the that, job. Because that's my defensively, point. So who next? That's what's been very good for England who in next? the past. Who next? Do you go English? There's only really Eddie Howe. Well, that's Stop like... it! <laughs> <laughs> Say, Gareth does call it a day, which I, I suspect he was, because it must be so tough, must be so Welcome demanding, so hard. Oh. Who would you go for? We, um, Eddie Howe? Well, there's no doubt he'll be, uh, he'll be in <laughs> the betting, because... Mm. He's done a great job in Newcastle. He I mean, if you go, Eng if you go English, we mentioned Frank Lampard. But wouldn't you go all out for Jurgen Klopp? Oh, I'd go yeah. one bigger. Mm. Pep. Yes. But do you yeah. think... There's a lot of yeps yes. in the background. I think we'd all love Pep, but it's do you like, like, realistically think why, that? Why not? Like that? I don't know, because Klopp's going to have a job. He'll yeah. we'll have a bit of a rest. Do you really oh, think England Pep's ready to... a German manager? Yeah, but he's not really German. He's half German, because he's been in England for so long. Oh, really? OK. All right, why, why go to a Spanish manager? Do well, you think Pep would do it? Would no, I mean, I don't want Pep to leave City, but I'm saying if he ever did, I would love to have him. The, the, the thing is, club managers are paid an awful lot of money, you know. An awful lot of money. I can't see the FA stumping up that kind of cash. Well, you was a club manager, Newcastle. Ten minutes? Well, only I was back wow. in... <laughs> Pete, don't laugh, Pete. <laughs> Wages have gone up since I was a manager. What was you getting at Newcastle? Go Not on. enough. Spill the beans. 2009, that was. What, and what was you getting then? Not enough. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? 
I mean, it's slightly unfair because obviously Gareth. Well, you just role, described but... how Spain have gone from yeah. where they left to how they've gone to. They um, they got they had a guy who's gone through the system. Mm. Well, that's just what Gareth was, did as well in a way. And Gareth did that, and it was all you said. It was a bit underwhelming and. He's, yeah, he's gone on to manage these group of players and then win the Euros. So. I didn't say it was underwhelming. A lot well, of their okay, the yeah. Spanish fans said it was yeah. underwhelming at the time. I'm, uh, I'm for England and England English managers. Potter? You would like? You don't want Eddie Howe to leave Newcastle, Well, I don't want Eddie Howe, but, but I there's think a lot going on at Newcastle at the moment. I would be the now, outstanding candidate. There's a lot going on at Newcastle. Like Eddie, mm. who, Eddie, the guys who appointed Eddie mm. have now left. Yeah. So we, we need to remember that Shearer went through that, I think he was Capello and Sven, if I remember correctly. And um, the, at the time, if you're not of that, you know, suitable age to, to remember, it was a lot of, these are just mercenaries. And they pay, we paid him a lot of money, especially Capello at the time was on ridiculous money. And we would have paid it, we would have been happy with success, but he was completely clueless. I remember, just to, just to quickly round that off, there's one corner, and I'll never forget it, and, he's, and it was like nil-nil, and he said all oh, the players fall. You know how you do if you're like one nil down and you're going to go out? He kind of said everybody forwards. <laughs> then surprise, surprise, you need a lot in order to score, even if you do, you know what I mean? Perfect pass, perfect connection, you know what I mean? On a header or a shot, you know what I mean? And the goalkeeper not to save it or somebody to block it. And surprise, surprise, they knocked it out or they defended it. Then on the break, because our defenders were forwards, we conceded. And it was just, that's that's the, literally the moment I thought, Capello, I've seen you for AC Milan, but in terms of England, you are completely clueless. And it must be more about the, just fitting, yeah, maybe, yeah, an Italian manager and an Italian team who already can think past the, 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 the silliness, really, and the... But anyway, no matter what it was, and no matter who's in that position, it was just there's too many flaws, and I think that's where she was coming from, personal experience. But um, going back to what Mika was saying, if we could have a Klopp and if we could have a Pep, I think I think Lineker mentioned Pep, where Pep Guardiola at uh, Man City, obviously we get something from a Foden. Foden was the lost man; it was like a shadow. It's like the invisible man, basically. We know he's got talent. And I'm not talking about specific moments in past games. I'm talking about the final. He, it was almost like we were playing with 10. We, we keep criticising Kane. Foden was the missing man as well. Um, and I'm not blaming him. I'm just I'm blaming the system that the manager devised in order to play against Spain. Being far inadequate and um, reflects him as a manager at the highest level more so than anybody else. But um, no, we want their best manager for the team that we can get. Um, Klopp wants to take a little bit of time out of the game in terms of full-time management. Oh my gosh, if we're not of the mindset of getting their best manager who could move our game forwards and hopefully help us win things beyond their nationality, then we got no chance, and as, and, uh, as Lineker was joking, he's, uh, he's half English now, he's been living here for like, you know, X amount of years. He can get his break, he can manage, he can manage us for the 12 games a year, approximately, that we play, and get his time out, uh, and we would all win, so uh, that's my thoughts. Um... And he's he's a front foot manager. He's young. Yeah. He got, you know, he's got a real energy to his football. No, he has. He would. He would, without doubt, be an outstanding candidate. Mm. Um, but we wouldn't want to lose him at Newcastle. Yeah. That's a problem. <laughs> we talked talked about producing English managers. I don't think that English managers won the Premier League, have they? It's, it, that's, why aren't we producing English coaches? Yeah. Yeah. And that is yeah, yeah, there was a period where there were a lot of Scottish coaches, mm -hmm. and that's kind of faded away a little bit. But it's it's it's, it's not. I don't think it? the fans it's would weird. matter. Whoever. I think what it is. I just think because now, before we move on this, that because it's such a key point. I know I, I, I did kind of give the under, under the background before, but Mika just raised another amazing point. Right, we want to move our game forwards. There's no, effectively, there's no successful English managers that have won the Premier League, right? So why are we trying to get second tier managers to manage our national team, expecting us to move us forward in our game? But that's what's going to happen. That's the only reason why I pause this time. I promise. We have 
you know, we were traditionally a, a country that played a different kind of football to everyone else. It was up and atom, direct, long ball, and all that stuff. Because and and, and mean, most of our successful, relatively successful coaches played that kind of style. Whereas we've started to produce players that have got, you know, much more technical, much more tactical, much more, um, like, really comfortable on the ball. And that's evolved. I think what will evolve next is the managers that can coach that. But the people like Eddie Howe, maybe Graham Potter are, are, are those. Um, I, guess, I guess we'll see. But first it's up to, you know, Gareth Southgate. Um, he and, yeah, he, and the he deserves to to call it how he wants it. I agree. I think that. he's certainly earned that respect and what he's done in the job where he's taken us. Mm. Um and if he were to leave, which I think he yeah. will. Yeah, I think the same. Um then we say thank you very much. Mm. Shake his hand. Yeah. Say okay. well done. Because thank you because you've done a really really good job. Now it's on to someone else. Totally echo those sentiments. <laughs> what opportunities for the next manager? Mm. Yeah. I think I think what it's an opportunity. unbelievable opportunity exactly. because yeah. the talent, the pool of talent that England now have in terms of players, mm. um, is a great job for someone coming in to go and chase that World Cup in two years' time. Bring it on! It's coming home. <laughs> no, can I just say <laughs> it's been a great tournament. I know it didn't end the way we yeah. wanted, but I've had a blast. All yeah. the people at the BBC from. Yeah, now they say they're good boys, but um, listen, I love these guys. Uh, the rest is football. They've raised the bar again of commentary. The, the certain presenters just can't stand watching, but again, none of them are, are on this panel. I, you know, Shearer, legend, Lineker, legend, and Mikovic has talked a lot of sense in most of these videos. And you know, he's passionate England supporter, as we all are, us English peoples. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the videos. That's a three part series. Um, yeah, please like, subscribe, and put your comments. We're also having fun here. I'm not saying I'm the definitive one or anything, it's just a fan with an opinion. Same as, <laughs> same as the saying goes. Uh, I'm going to go into that saying, it's a little bit of a naughty one. But yeah, please like, subscribe. Click on the dick hose icon, click on subscribe, 100% free. Well, you know, apart from Blood in Blood Out, Daddy Steve, and I'm out.